Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to replace the wick and wadding in this vintage petrol lighter insert. Occasionally you come across one that doesn't have a wick or wadding. More often I come across one that is the wick or wadding is just so old and dirty that I don't want to deal with it. So in that case, and I get questions all the time about what kind, what can I use instead, what kind of wick to use in a lighter, and what kind of uh, wadding, what can I use instead of the rayon or cotton wadding that was in there. So all these questions and everything that we go over in this video will pretty much apply to any kind of petrol lighter. As you'll see, we're not going to need a wire lead wick. It's not the kind that I'm going to use. It's not the kind that I want to put in here. But if that was your choice, you could certainly have a wire lead wick inserted in here and installed quickly. And there wouldn't be anything wrong with that if that's if that's your your wick of choice, if that's the way you choose to do it. You can also use the Ronson D light. Those old wicks are still available there on on eBay. And I have a video where I show you how to tie a wire on there. And very simple, very easy to get one of those in there. But for what we're gonna do today, we're gonna use the Zippo type copper braided wick and I'm not sure this insert is a little bit different the rivet that's holding that cam in place is also the the hole that the wick is going to come through and I could be wrong but it looks smaller on the bottom than it does the top and I tried to spin one through there a few minutes ago and it wouldn't just go right through like they do sometimes so we'll see I'm gonna get this twisted down so we get it twisted down as tight as we can and then I will usually trim that into as tight a V or point as I can. I would normally put that in from the bottom, but the top, that hole in the top looks a little bit broader to me than the bottom so I'm going to try to spin this in from the top and then hopefully be able to get a pair of pliers on it to pull it through Okay, and as you can see, we got it. We got it on through there. We'll go ahead and pull that through where we want it. If you enjoy watching videos about repairing old petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video that you're watching. Tell your friends about the channel, hit the share button, send that link off in a text, 
post it on social media, send it in an email, however it is that you communicate with folks nowadays, and let them get a look at it for themselves. You can leave any comments or questions below the video. We would also appreciate it if you would follow and like us across all the social media platforms. That'll be Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and of course eBay, Dependable Flame or DependableFlame.com. So we've got the wick in the position we want it there in the chimney. We'll go ahead and take the screwdriver and bend our wick a little bit bend it up against the top so that we got we can get the wadding in and then we'll fold the wick around that as we go now regular old cotton balls like everybody has in their house those will work just fine and generally in this type of lighter two or three of those would be enough I also have this organic cotton coil that I buy off of Amazon and it's real nice because it comes in this long piece and therefore you don't have to pull these single pieces out as you go uh, when it comes to re-wicking the lighter later but for some lighters you have to kind of thin it out it's uh, too wide to go in some so you you know you get a little thinner strand of it to go through a narrower hole but for something like an insert type lighter this will work just fine where we can go ahead and put a couple of layers of cotton and then we fold the wick in get a couple more layers in there bring the wick back around So, you know, uh, you may not always be able to fabricate a felt pad to put back over there, but a lot of the cheaper lighters, they don't really have much of a felt pad on there anyway. That was the case with this one. You'll see the video for this lighter tomorrow. And uh, it's a really cool lighter, but, you know, the insert is what it is. It's not like it's a, uh, it just serves a function. And so you know maybe it's not as aesthetically pleasing as some other lighters that have a fill screw or plate on the bottom and all that kind of thing when you get enough in there you can just go ahead and tear it off and then stuff it, stuff it on in there So that is re-wicking and replacing the wadding in an insert style petrol lighter. The materials that have been shown here could be used in other type petrol lighters. So this is all useful information for any kind of petrol lighter that you may have to 
use or work on. As I said, I've shown you the other kind of wicks and the other materials you may need here. But that's packed back in there nice and tight. Got our wick where we want it. Flint and the flint spring screw. Don't forget to go over to eBay and check Dependable Flames store. We have three auctions a month where they start at a penny. Charity gets 100% of the proceeds of the auction and you get the lighter. Everybody's happy. And also any, any purchase that you make from our eBay store benefits HDSA and 100% of those penny start auctions. So there you see it. As I said, you have to wait till tomorrow to see the actual insert at work. But that is the completed insert. Just needs to be fueled. Put inside the lighter. And it will be ready to go. Until next time.